just wanted to ask you what's uh, your thoughts on going. Obviously, you've been playing with one of the all-time greats at quarterback uh, the last few seasons. Uh, what's your thoughts on uh, uh, joining a, a, a team that uh, obviously has a younger guy, quarterback, a guy that's just kind of getting his start in the league? Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, obviously, it was a blessing. I was fortunate to be able to play with Tom, um, but she's excited to to get to play with the young guy. Um, I think it's going to be good. I got to see him up close in person last year, the last uh, game of the regular season. Um, I really like what he brings to the table. Uh, it seems like he has a lot of energy, can create, can can throw the long ball, can really all the, do the things you need to do. So I can't wait to to get to work with him. Thanks, man. Welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. Michael Rothstein, ESPN. Yeah, hey, Scotty, how are you? Thanks for taking a few minutes. Possible someone already asked you this, but like, where where have they told you you might play in terms of slot, outside? Yeah, I haven't gotten to too much detail as far as scheme and where I will play. Um, I, I believe I can play either or, though. Um, in college, I played predominantly in the slot, and then my year, my four years in the league, I played mostly outside and using my speed. So it really just depends on the offense and what they want to do. Um, but I believe I can move around. Um, so I'll be willing to do whatever. And uh, I'm just excited to uh, to get into a new offense and, and learn it. And uh, I'm just, just super excited. Is, is there a spot, though, between the two where you think – you fit or feel more comfortable is like you said in college you did one thing and the pros you did another and they are different enough that I'm, I'm just wondering if there's an area where you think that you are either more productive or predominantly fits you better yeah I, I don't know because I feel like speed is the best thing that I bring to the table I think I can stretch the field stretch the defense um, so I think it's a little bit easier to do that on the outside you can get one-on-one -on -one matchups run by the corner um that sort of thing. Um, but then in, sl in the slot, I think I can use my quickness and my ability with mismatches on bigger guys, safeties, linebackers, nickels. Um, you know, so honestly, I'm really comfortable playing both. Um, it's something in Tampa I wish I got to do more was playing the slot, um, especially with Tom there. The slot, you know, got a lot of action. We had Chris Godwin who did a great job for us there. Um, so really just excited for an opportunity to potentially, you know, play both. Thanks. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I'm curious, what what uh, attracted you to the Falcons? Yeah, uh, I mean, free agency is crazy. It's the first time I dealt with it in my career. Um, and uh, I mean, really, just everything. I mean, young quarterback, for one, is a big thing. And uh, another thing is a lot of opportunity, I felt like, uh, to get on the field and play. It's something in Tampa that was tough as our, our room, our receiver room was always loaded with talent. And it was it was tough to kind of find plays um, and find opportunities to get the ball. So I'm excited for that opportunity. I know if nothing here is going to be handed to me, I got to go earn everything. And I'm just really excited to get out in the field um, and, and show these guys what I can do. So earning that time out on the field, the Falcons obviously last year very run heavy, like to have the run game as the identity. How do you feel about that aspect of your game? You mentioned speed. I mean, what about the run blocking, that attribute? Yeah, I, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Uh, I, I was asked to do that a little bit in Tampa, um, but I feel like I'm a well-rounded player. Um, just try to bring toughness into everything that I do. If I'm asked to block you know, a linebacker, I'll do my best to do it. Um, but also, I think that with running the ball like that, it allows for big plays down the field as well. Um, you know, get those safeties to come up a little bit and then, you know, toss it right over their head. So um, I, think it's a, I think it's a great fit. Awesome. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Paul, do you have any follow-ups for Scotty? Nope. All right, Michael, do you have a follow-up for Scotty? Yeah, and again, maybe you were asked this. Sorry, I jumped on late. Uh, was Atlanta really your only option? Or did you kind of have well, – what was that looking like for you? Because usually when guys take a couple weeks to sign, that that can mean a whole slew of different things. Yeah, um, there was a couple different things going on. I mean, for one, the receiver market was pretty slow this year. Um, 
So I didn't know if it was, I was going to sign again. It's my first time going through it. I didn't know if I was going to sign right away or it, it took a while. Um, but I think really, I think a lot of guys in the market probably wanted more money and that just wasn't going out this year for the receivers. So you kind of sit there and then you just accept what you're going to get. Um, but there was a couple teams in at the end and uh, we felt like Atlanta, like I said, just gave us the best opportunity to get out on the field. And um we felt like I felt like I was super excited to play with some of these guys as well. Um, you know, Drake is very similar to Mike, who I've played with, obviously, for a number of years. And um, Kyle Pitts and uh, Matt Collins, he signed. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of great pieces here that I think uh, I think uh, it could be a really successful team. And I, this might sound weird, but, you know, when you came out of college, I think there were a lot of questions because of the height and, and all that. And the speed was never a question. At what point did you get the sense that you might be able to be successful in the league? Yeah, I've always believed in myself and had full confidence that I could I could make it and play at the highest level. Uh, I think my senior year, I had some big games against big schools, Oregon. Uh, first game of the year, my senior year, I had a big game. And I think after that, I really felt like I could play um, with anybody because, you know, over there, they got some of the best athletes around. Um and then I was I was really disappointed. I didn't get invited to the combine. Um, didn't get invited to the Senior Bowl or any of the big elite bowl games, kind of. Um, so it was tough for me. I was fortunate and uh, really forever grateful that the Bucks took a chance on me, and uh, selected me in the sixth round. Um, but really, it's just it's never been easy. I mean, as a sixth round pick, as you guys know, you're not guaranteed anything. So I just had to kind of grind it out, and uh, that's kind of been my story my whole life. Just keep uh, just trying to earn everything. Appreciate it. Will, do you have any follow-ups? Uh, yeah, just one. So we've seen the Falcons bring in guys like Jesse Bates, Clayus Campbell, you know, people who are going to be excellent impacts on the defensive side of the ball in the locker room. You have experienced a lot of team success so far in your career with Tampa. Is that something that, A, you think that you can bring is kind of that, hey, I've been there before, I've got that experience, here's, here's how to do it. And is that something that the Falcons have maybe asked you to bring to the locker room? Uh, it's not something we've talked about. Um, but it is something that, I mean, I've played with some of the best guys, obviously with Tom at the top of the list. Uh, so I have that experience. I have had deep playoff runs, won a Super Bowl. So those are all experience that I can share and kind of help as this team is obviously, like you said, signed a bunch of guys and, uh, obviously looking to win a lot of football games and find a lot of success. So, um, it's something that I can definitely bring to the table.